Second Ezra chapter 14. Verse 16 and it reads. Second Ezra chapter 14 verse 16 and it reads. For yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles, slash elder bishops of great millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible, peace, blessings, and safety. To all you sincere items, keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. God's people here for bad evils and only evils. What the scriptures say, visual shall be show, so good, cheap upon earth, that they, that they shall think themselves to be in a good case. And even then shall evils grow upon the earth. Yeah. See, the other Israelite groups, they're not telling you about this right here. The most hated group on the face of the earth is prophesying to you, and you hate their guts. They're telling you that the prices are going to get, you're, you're not going to eat soon, come. All right? Hate, hate us for telling you the truth according to the Bible. The Lord said greater evils. That, you, you see the prices of eggs on the screen? Do you, do you not see that, Israel? And that's eggs, which basically is, is one of the most cheapest things in the store. So if eggs is this price, how much do you think the meat is? Huh? How much you think the milk is? How much is real? Great miseries are going to come upon you people, man. It's better to die by the sword than die by way of famine. These people are going to be losing their mind. The Lord's going to shut all these grocery stores down. He's going to shut these restaurants down, these food pantries down. They say the storehouse shall be found empty, Israel. But you, you, you don't want to hear that, though. No, because almost it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas and all this other nonsense, right? Jingle bell rock, you know what I'm saying? Dwarfs everywhere, reindeer everywhere. Second Ezra 14, 16, lump break lesson. Lord willing, the elect is edified. Second Ezra 14, 16, for yet greater evils, greater evils, more bad times. You thought it was bad, more bad times. And then on top of all this, you got robots. Um, they have passed laws to let robots come to your crib and use deadly force now. But we but we don't know what the hell we talking about, though, right? You're going to know that a private had been among you, right? You're going to forget about all the rude speech. You're going to forget about us saying the word bitch, damn, M -alpha, dropping the F-bomb. That's going to go out the window when that stomach touched that back. Every so-called bad word that you heard, so-called bad word that you heard us say on the video. Do you, do you know how fast that's going to go out the window? Yet greater evils, for yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done here at the... Look, look. Better take a look. And what's going on? It's going down, Israel. The Lord is bringing this place down systematically. Bit by bit. Bit by bit. These people are about to lose their freaking mind, man. All of them. Everybody, that's what Ezra says. What was me? What was me? Who would deliver me in those days, right? But the whole world is mad because we're teaching the truth according to the Bible. Second Ezra said, this devil about to come in with great wrath. You thought it was bad in saving the A.D.? We're, we're going to get that. We're going to get that. Second Ezra 15, 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. We tell you what's going to happen before it even happens. Which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. And call them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. We, 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 we're just going to know what I'm saying. We're just going to read on. We're just going to read on. Verse 5. We, we, yes. We bring it out of it again. We bring it out again. Behold, said the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, the famine, death, and destruction. Can't you see that? You, you can't see. You still can't see that, huh? You, you can't. Eggs, eight dollars, man. Nine dollars for the large eggs. Six, uh, damn near seven dollars for the jumbo eggs. And it's only a, it's only twelve in a carton. <laughs> Boy. What if you only knew? Second Edges 15. 
Let's get this. Second Ezra chapter 15, verse um 19. Let's just click on that. We're just gonna click on that. Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 19, and it reads, A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods. We rob you for everything that you got, all your food. You see, what they call it um natural resources, lighters, matches, you know, socks, shoes, what whatever. Mainly that food though. And spoil their goods. They're gonna take every canned good you got if if you got some in that day. Cause it's gonna get bad. The greater evils, man. All, it's gonna be all kind of heads being busted to the white meat, chaotic screams and hollerings from every house. Windows being shattered, doors being kicked the hell in. They're going to spoil you for your goods, man. Meaning rob you because of the lack of bread. That famine is going to, the Lord going to send his sword arrows of famine, man. Because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. But the only thing you was thinking about was Black Friday. All these scriptures coming out. They're passing the news legislation. And it's, it's already legislation. It's already been passed to where if a crisis do break out, the government has given the military the right to come and confiscate you, your house, and everything in it. It don't let you know, henceforth, let you know you're not free, Israel. You see, you're not, you're not free. They, they lied to you. You're not free. Let's get second. Lunch break lesson. And man shall not live by bread alone. Remember, the scriptures say, they say that the evil shall not overtake nor prevent them, but it will. These bad times are only going to, they, they're going to take over, man. They're going to take over like roaches in your apartment, man. All right? And they're going to stay there, man. These evils ain't going nowhere. Second Ezra 16. I just want to hit a point. Second Ezra 16. Let's see. Second Ezra chapter 16. So like him. Yeah. Second Ezra chapter 16. Verse 21. Behold, victuals. Meaning food, right? Shall be so good, cheap upon earth. Now, you still can go get some um a, a decent meal for a reasonable price. But soon come, it ain't going to be nowhere to get no food. But the servants of the Lord are going to eat, right? People going to be busting each other's heads over for just a, just a piece of bread. You see? People are going to be eating each other, man. 21, behold. Let's, let's just click on it. Let's bring it right up on the screen. Second Ezra 16, 21. Behold, which means to look, victuals, meaning food, shall be so good, cheap upon earth, that they shall think themselves to be in good case. So everybody think it's all lovey dovey right about now. But hell, last time I went to the grocery store, I said, damn. So when I started getting a couple of little items that I had, and just think about a family of five or a family of seven and things of that nature. You see, the bigger the family, the bigger the problems, man. Especially if you ain't, if everything ain't been ran decently in order, the kids just go in the refrigerator whenever the hell they want to, just eating everything, just throwing shit away. Play full of stuff, but I don't want them. I don't like vegetables, mommy. I don't like carrots, mommy. You gonna wish you had them carrots. You gonna wish you had them greens. You gonna wish you had something on a plate soon come. And even then, shall evils remember greater evils? And even then, when it seemed like it's all lovey-dovey, shall evils grow upon the earth? Sword, which represents destruction, famine, a lack of food, and great confusion. These people are going to bug the hell out. Because now that knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures, happy is the man that got it. Happy is the woman that got it. Verse 22, Second Ezra 16, 22. For many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish, meaning die of famine, man. And the other that escape the hunger shall the sword shall destruction destroy. Mainly them ICBM missiles, mainly that fire. And the laser beams coming out of the chariots. But, 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 but oh yeah, uh, th those guys don't know what the hell they talking about though, right? For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction. I, 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 gotta, I gotta throw this in here. I, I gotta throw this in here. Second Timothy chapter 3 is getting ready to get real in the hot second. It's going to get real in a hot second. These women are going to be running for their damn life. You, you can see them hauling ass up and down the street and they're hauling, hauling ass. Second Timothy, the men, you ain't going to be in no better situation either. You see, Second Timothy 3 and 1. This know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come. Dangerous, hazardous, 
uncertain times, man. You see? These are the times that we live in, and that shit is expensive. It's on or what? You see? That's what all that pride, pride go up before destruction and a hearty spirit before a fall. All that pride is going to go out the window quick. I mean, quick. Pride going to be here one day and it's going to go out the damn window tomorrow, man. Second Kings chapter six. You see, bear with me. You see where I want to start at. So it's going to be a famine, a great famine, man. Let's see. Bear with me. Let's see, it's down at the bottom. Let's see. Here it is. Second Kings chapter 6, verse 25. And there was a great famine in Samaria. In, in America, aka Babylon is a modern day. This is a cold name for America. This time, remember, kingdoms are reincarnated too, just like people. This is this is modern day Samaria, America. Modern day um Egypt is Sodom. You see, us Babylon. You see? And there was a great famine. The Lord says it's going to be worse at this time. And there was a great famine in Samaria. And behold, they besieged it. You see? They're going to, they're going to lock it down. Martial law going to pop off. You see? Just like they did in 7 AD. The Romans besieged Jerusalem to where you couldn't go in. You couldn't go out, right? It's going to be worse than that this time, right? Until an ass's head, a donkey. You see? And, and look, until an ass's head was sold for four score pieces of silver. And the fourth part of a calf of doves, dung, some bird doodle. -doo. A whole lot of you Israelites, you can ready to get you ready to eat some shit. That, yeah. You're gonna eat shit soon come Israel. You're gonna be that hungry. And the Israelites are saying, not, not me. I'm not gonna do that. Not me. You're gonna be the main one. Don't say what you won't do and what you ain't gonna do. Say Lord's will. I don't have to eat no shit. You see, Abba Rataza, I won't have to eat no shit. Abba Rataza, I won't have to eat my baby. That's what you say. And the fourth part of a cab of dove dung for five pieces of silver, man. You see, and in the same chapter, you know what I'm saying, Jake had to boil their babies. Israelites are going to have to boil their babies so they come and eat them raw. That's how deadly serious this message is. That's how deadly serious this message is, man. Let's, I want to. I want to get. Um, let's go to Second Edges, the eighth chapter. Let's go to Second Edges, the eighth chapter. Yeah, it, it, it's real, man. This shit is real, man. But you say the evils ain't, ain't gonna overtake you, though, right? Second Edges, chapter eight. It's real with three first. There be many created, but few shall be saved. You see. Billions of people on the face of the earth, the majority of them are gonna starve out, man. You see, gonna start the sore arrows of famine, man. Woe was me, woe was me, who would deliver me in those days? Second Ezra chapter 8, verse 50, for many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world, because they have walked in great pride, and you ain't gotta believe us. Sin, sin is believing for the majority of you people. You gotta get caught smack dead in the middle of it. That's gonna be a good thing. Look, look, that's going to be a good thing, right? For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world, mainly here in America, though, right? Because they have walked in great pride. And, look, and, look, and pride goes before destruction and in haughty spirit before fall, right? What else did I want, man? The, look, remember, the Lord is known by his judgment. What is it, Psalm 66? Let's get this right quick. Seek the Lord while he may be found, Israel. Seek him. Right, look, look. The vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not. Matter of fact, if I even get that, let's just get this. You people don't have a clue of what's coming. Don't have a damn clue of what's coming. You, you've been, you've been ignoring the words of the Lord for, for, for many years, so you don't think nothing coming. The Lord, got, the Lord got all of you in a trick bag. Jeremiah 20. You Christians, what are you going to do, you so-called Christians? You blessed and highly favored. You you holier than thou. What are you going to do? Riches shall not profit in a day of wrath. You, you can have a bag full of money, but if it ain't nothing to buy, then what? 
Then what? You got a bank account full of money. You got a pocket full of money. You got a, your, your pillowcase. You're up under your bed. It's full of money, but it ain't nothing to buy. Then what? Jeremiah 28 and 8. The prophets that have been before me and before the old prophets, I told you what was going to happen before it even happened. Both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence, right? Yeah, that's what the prophets did. And that's what the prophets are doing right now as I speak. But my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. You rejected knowledge. Do you know what the Lord's going to do? He's going to reject you. It's going to be a whole lot of sad faces soon come in. A whole lot of sad faces. Psalm 66. And um, let's see. Psalm chapter 66, verse 5. And it reads, Come and see the works of Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shai, who you're going to call God and Jesus. He is, a ter he is terrible in his doings toward the children of men. You see? Bad, I mean, bad to the bone as well. In fact, let's get this. Let's get Job. Because like I said before, lunch break lesson. So it so ain't going to really be nothing long. Let's get Job 19. He that is unrighteous. The, he, what does it say? He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he that is wicked, let him be wicked still. He that is holy, let him be holy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. Let's get this. Job 19, 27. Be afraid of the sword. For wrath bringeth the punishment of the sword, that ye may know there is judgment, man. You see? So so be ye afraid of the sword. What's a modern day sword? What's, what's the sword of the Lord? Sleazy, man. All right? Be afraid because the Lord got this man getting ready to come down with that hammer. Remember, he's coming down with great wrath. He's a whipping stick of the Lord. And the Lord going to swing it. The Lord going to swing that sword, man. For wrath bringeth the punishments of the sword, that ye may know there is a judgment for all the Israelites that didn't take heed, for all the Israelites that thought everything was a joke, thought everything was a game. The Lord got judgment being prepared for you, and you don't even know it. You you don't even know it, man. Too busy clowning around, you know. But but that day is coming, though. It, it's here. Eggs, ten dollars, man. Eggs, ten dollars, man. So rock chapter 40. Verse 9. Death and bloodshed. I'm just go through this pretty quick. Death and bloodshed, strife and sword, calamities, famine. Famine, tribulation, and discourse. These things are created for the wicked. And for their sakes came the flood. Now remember, pride goeth before destruction. And in hearty spirit before falling, and then the thing about the Lord's controlling everything. I just want to get one more, and I'm gone. This, this ain't nothing long. The brother um, posted this on the, um, the elder uh, Amawan Gabar, you know what I'm saying, posted this on one of his lessons. You see, I took a still frame of it. We the news force castle, we the news reporters for Yahweh by Shimia Rashai Sarak, chapter 11. The Lord controls it all, man. So that, that's why we seek the Lord. So Rock chapter 11, verse 14, prosperity and adversity, life and death, poverty and riches come of the Lord. So the Lord is controlling everything. Everything, whether you eat, whether you live, whether you die, whether you got a roof over your head, whether you're sleeping on a park bench, it's all being controlled by the Lord. It's all being controlled by the Lord. That's, that's how you can see friends going to fight his enemies soon come. You see, I, I, do, I do got one more. I just want to bring out that Isaiah 33 and 6 right quick. Happy is the man that get it. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction. Look, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hand of the living power, right? You Israelites going to fall smack dead in the hands of the living power, man. He going to get you, man. He going to get you, man. Isaiah 33 and 6. I just want to bring this out and then I'm gone. I seen this still frame the Lord like, yo, do something right quick. And so it is what it is. Lord willing, the elect is edified. Remember, my servant shall eat. Isaiah 33 and 6. I might bring that out next. Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time. And strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. So when all hell start to break loose and, get, and things get worse and worse and worse and worse, what are we going to lean towards? The truth. 
this wisdom, this knowledge, this understanding, because it's been keeping us stable so far. Why, why leave off from it? If this is the only thing that's been keeping you stable, why leave off from it? You see? No, you stick with it. You pray that the Lord keeps it on you, man. You see? So, so it's getting bad out here. What is it? Isaiah 65? Isaiah chapter 65. This is my last one. I'm gone. Get back to work. Isaiah 65, 13. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Remember, they're going to spoil you. They're going to spoil your goods before the, because of the lack of bread and for the great tribulation. That's what's coming, Israel. Great tribulation, man. I want to read this one more time in closing. Isaiah 65 and 13, therefore, thus saith the Lord, the Lord is saying this, man, we're just reading it, behold, my servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry, behold, my servants shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty, behold, you look, Tyrone Biggums, white ass lips, white ass lips, remember that Israel, but ye shall be thirsty, behold, my servants shall rejoice. But ye, the Israelites that didn't take heed to the word, but ye shall be ashamed, man. When the man, his woman, and his child is sitting somewhere starving their asses off, trying to figure out what's going on. And somebody's banging at their door. Boom, 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 boom. Or either the door just fly out the damn hinges and it's cannibals. Remember, the Lord got no spirits, creative avengers, and they're active too, man. I mean, there's plenty of more scriptures that I could bring out, man, but I'm, I'm kind of pressed for time. You see? I'm kind of pressed for time. Man. I, I, wish, I wish I could bring out more. Lord willing, I might make another lesson when I get to the career. Lord willing. The Lord said, great misery. Never seen before. And it's all called judgment. Remember, be afraid. Be very afraid, Israel. The Lord is terrible. Terrible. Evils and only evils. Shalom.